Hey there, tech coaches. Are you looking to use something different this year for your tech coach newsletters? In today's episode of Tech Coach Weekly, we're going to be walking you through Microsoft Sway. And hello, everybody, and welcome back to Tech Coach Weekly. My name is Jeff Bradbury, and with me always is Sue Vincent. Sue, how are you today? Welcome to Tech Coach Weekly. I am great and excited about our series on newsletters. Last week, we learned about Google Sites. Jeff, what are we going to learn about this week? Today, we are going to talk about one of my favorite Microsoft applications. That's right, Microsoft Sway, an amazing and dynamic tool that you can use both on your phones and on your mobile devices and on any device. And today, we're going to be learning how to use those to create some dynamic newsletters, just like in last episode, where we learned a little bit about what you can do with Google Sites. And I want to say thank you guys out there for leaving comments and reactions to all of the great things that we talked about. I hope you guys are enjoying Tech Coach Weekly. And without further ado, let's learn how to make a Tech Coach newsletter using Microsoft Sway. So in order to create our Tech Coach newsletter, I'm actually going to be starting in Microsoft Word. I know that sounds really weird. Many of us want to find an application, run to it, open it up, and start to play. But here I like to actually take my time. Maybe this is something that I've got over the course of a few days. And if you notice here in Microsoft Word, I've got everything typed out. But I'm also using paragraph headings. You'll notice here up on top, I've got this listed as a title. And then over here, I've got this as title one, again, heading one. And then under subtopics, I've got these as the various headings. You'll also notice I've got some pictures, I've got a table. And what we wanna do is we wanna quickly and easily turn this into a dynamic tech coach newsletter using Microsoft Sway. And it couldn't be any easier. It just takes a few clicks. Now I am using Word on the web. This is not a feature yet of Word as an application. You wanna make sure that you're signed into your Microsoft 365 account. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click over here under File. I'm gonna click over here under Export. And I'm going to have two options here. And we're going to take a look at both of them today. The first one says transform to a website. And when I click on that, you're going to notice here it opens up a nice little dialogue. And I've got a bunch of different options here. And what I want to do is I'm just going to grab this one right here. It's kind of plain, but that's okay. And you can see what it's going to look like. I can also choose this. And let's see, I've got a couple different options here. I'm gonna try this one just to see what this looks like. I'm gonna hit transform. It opens up Microsoft Sway. And here we are, it opens up in Microsoft Sway, a nice online newsletter. You'll notice here's my title, here's all of my headers, all of the text comes in. It has my bullet points, it even keeps the lists. And hmm, we've got some pictures that we need to figure out how that goes. And if I slow down, um, We'll see what we have here. So what would I want to do is I want to hit edit because I'm not quite happy with this yet, but you'll notice everything so far has popped in. It even did pop in the pictures. Maybe that was just a loading issue. I want to see if we can change this a little bit. So under storyline, I'm going to switch over to design. And you'll notice here, I now have what this looks like. It says your sway is being shown the way others are seeing it. And what I can do is I can change the style right here. And it gives me this entire panel of different styles. I can do it vertical, horizontal, and you can see now I can go this way, or I can make this into slides and I can change this over here. Not what I wanna do yet, I'm gonna click on vertical because I do like that as a style, but I wanna change this just a little bit. Let's see, not a fan yet of this. Maybe I'll try this one here. And you can just see how easy this is to move around and to make look like your newsletter. You know what, I kind of like this and I'm gonna keep this. You can see how easy this is to go from a Word doc into a Sway, into a newsletter. Of course, if I wanna change this, I can jump back over here into Storyline. I can change the background. I can do anything that I need to. So pretty easy to do. But I want to show you one more thing, because sometimes you don't want to use a Sway for a newsletter. Let's see what the other option is. I'm back here in Microsoft Word. I'm going to hit File. And again, I'm going to click Export. And now it says Export to a PowerPoint presentation. This might be something that you want to do if you're taking your newsletters and you're putting them into a presentation format, or maybe you're embedding this onto a website. Let's see what happens, and let's see how this works. 
I'm just going to click on this one right here. And of course, these are all random, but let's see what happens when it exports into PowerPoint. And you can see just how quick that did it. I'm going to hit open the presentation and look, this looks pretty awesome. Not exactly what I was looking for, but you can see just by tweaking a couple things on your Word doc, you've got some pretty neat things here. And you know what? Maybe this doesn't have to work for your newsletters. But maybe this does work for your lessons, your presentations. And of course, I can change these very quickly into anything that I need to. But you can see how easy this is to take your Word doc and quickly turn it into either a PowerPoint presentation, something that you can share, or a nice Microsoft Sway. So Sue, as you can see, there's a lot of similarities between Microsoft Sway and Google Sites. I love how you can use one template to create so many different things, and that no matter what device somebody's on, they can enjoy the content extremely easy. Don't you think so? Oh, absolutely. Templates are definitely a lifesaver, whether it's for newsletters or anything we do as a tech coach. It's definitely a lifesaver and time saver. And that's why we are here each and every week talking about our three T's of tech coaching. That's right. Our tips, our tricks, our templates. And we would love to know what you guys would like to learn about on the next episode of Tech Coach Weekly. And that wraps up this episode on behalf of Sue and everybody here in the TeacherCast Educational Network. My name is Jeff Bradbury. Don't forget to hit that like and subscribe button and keep up the great work in your classrooms and continue sharing your passions with your students. <laughs>